the formula y equals negative 3x squared plus 30x plus 12 this is going to express the monthly profit y of a company in thousands okay where x is the number of units sold each month all right the graph shows the profit y of the company so this is 10,000 20,000 30,000 40,000 because it's in thousands okay and uh, one unit sold, two units sold, three units sold, four units sold, and so on. All right? So this is your X, and up here is your Y. All right, so uh, for which interval is the profit always increasing? And we have four choices, and the key word here is increasing. Okay? So let's take our, uh, our graph, and you know our... The very first point we always have on a graph is the origin. That's the point zero, zero. But that's not on our red line. Our red line, first point on our red line is up here. Okay? That is the point zero, ten. All right? And uh, down here is how many units are sold. So at, the, at zero units, we've sold ten. The profit is ten when you sell zero units. Okay, let's go up to this point here. That's one unit, and we're up here where? Between 40 and 50. So that would be 145, wouldn't it? And it looks like the profit went up, didn't it? As it goes from 0 to 1, the profit is going up. It's increasing. So this is part of our answer down there, okay? Let's go up to the next point on the graph where we sell two units. At two units, you're going to make uh, 70,000. All right, 2 comma 70s up here. And it's increasing still, isn't it? It's still increasing, so we can continue on down here. From the interval from 0 to 2, we're increasing. Now go over here to 3. 3 and what? 385. It's still increasing. All right. And then 4. 4 what? 490. It still is increasing, isn't it? And then when we get up to 5 units, right here, 5 units, we went down to 85. So we're no longer increasing. We're going down now, aren't we? It was at 90. It decreases to 85. And then uh, 6, we're only going up to 70. And uh, 7, we're going up to what? 45. But the thing is, we're, we're, we're decreasing now, aren't we? Aren't we? We're decreasing, aren't we? When you get over here to 8, you're at 10, aren't you? Here's 8, 10. All right, so if you look at where it's increasing, it increased from here to here, didn't it? Right? Isn't that what our graph shows? It increased from 0 to 4 units, didn't it? And then it starts decreasing here. So it increased on this interval, which is the unit from 0 the interval from 0 to 4. So it looks like we're going to pick A for our answer for the increasing. The interval's increasing from when you have 0 to 4 units.